Good afternoon. I'm just coming out of Publix. I mean, I, I, I guess I could take this out now. I just wanted you guys to know that I spoke to PG today. He told me, he called me with some news. He said that the prison came to him and they apologized that they had him in confinement for 50 days because it was a mistake. They thought he was talking to two people on a three-way call. He was talking to me and my alter ego, Queen Shiva, and they wrote up a ticket about that. But, you know, when they looked into it, they saw that he really wasn't on a three-way call and he did nothing wrong. And during the time that he was in there, they had put him in confinement with another inmate who had the coronavirus. So now that he's been in there for 50 days, he has to quarantine for 14 more days so that, um, you know, because he had access or he was in the room with someone who had the coronavirus. He's not upset about it, but I am. When someone makes a mistake like that, who pays for it? I mean, you know, when you do something wrong, they punish you. But, but who's there to punish them when they do something wrong or when they make a mistake? It's just I'm sorry and move on and go back to general popula population. There's nothing you could do about it. This is how they're treating our African-American inmates in the prison system. They think that you don't have anyone there for you. They think that um, they could do whatever they want to you and it'll be okay. Like they literally did this. They sent me a message saying that they were going to charge him with something and then they never even gave him a court date. They said it was a mistake. So who pays for this mistake? Do you know? Is there any recourse that can be taken? He's not upset. I'm upset. Because you're telling me, that's like me getting arrested and you taking me to jail for two months and say, oh, we're sorry, Classy. We're so sorry, Queen Sheba. We arrested the wrong person, which I know it's done all the time. But what is the recourse for it? How are they able to get away with stuff like this and there's no recourse? Um, I am very dismayed. Um, I just, you know, as I said, I was in Publix picking up food um, to cook and doing a little food shopping. And um, I had two conversations with him today. And he's just happy that he's going to be able to go back to general um, population and you know he's just happy about that Whew. I just had to get that out uh, off my chest real quick um, I'm angry for him but I'm also happy for him he wanted me to let you guys know that he's not missing he was in confinement and he didn't have his tablet so as soon as he gets access to all his regular stuff again he's gonna be writing you guys and thanking you for all that you have done the birthday wishes the letters the cards the love he loves it all he said because of you guys he's had a lot of strength and you know and a lot of support and he appreciates it. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this is not going to be a long live because I got to go home and cook. But I just wanted you to know that um, I'm really thankful for all of you that has been there. If you guys um, know about any recourse that we can take, let me know in the comments below. And um, let me see. Let me show you Publix here. Publix has um, Publix has the best 
subs, pub subs, and the best fried chicken. Better than KFC, better than Popeyes, better than anybody I've ever tasted um, fast food or whatever. Publix, if you want good fried chicken, go to Publix. If you want a good uh, sub, sub sandwich, don't go to Subway, go to Publix. They are the bomb. It's like they know exactly what to do and they put their touches on it and it's the best stuff you have ever tasted. I love Pub Sub. I love them. Oh, you know, um, it was a rainy day today and I have trouble seeing anyway. So I decided to wear my, my glasses, as you can see. I am happy. I'm having a good day. And, um... I hope you are too. Let me let me ride with you a little bit. Cause subway is not far. I mean, I hit the sky behind me. Subway is not um far from the house, so um. Here we go. I know I gotta put on my seatbelt. Okay, here we go. So um, that's it. Today I was not feeling well, but. Um, I didn't have things that were thought out to cook, so I had to come to the grocery store and, you know, and I, I don't really like going out that much anymore, um, until I know that COVID is like really contained, which right now it's not. Um, school starts for the children, my son, August 24th, so in a couple of weeks. And, you know, just a lot going on. Make my right turn here when when these cars pass. Okay, good. Here we are. And it's it's even though it, it, it just poured down rain, I mean like it was pour it's so beautiful out here right now. Let me see if you can see it. Uh let me get it off of this thing. See how beautiful it is? It just rained, but you know, you can see it's a little cloudy, but it's sunny and it's hot, you know, here in Florida. Anyway, I'm going to let you go. Just came here to rant a little bit and um, you'll see me soon from the studio. Peace. I love you.